Okay, here are, here's a little bit of the work from my assignment, finding a function from a derivative and a point. So the first problem, number one, a i, they give you that dy dx, so the derivative is equal to x, and we know that the original curve passes through negative 2 and 7. So what we need to do is we need to integrate, we're going to integrate x dx, Okay, this guy, x dx, and then we're going to use this point to solve for c. So if I integrate this, I get x squared times 1 half, the reciprocal of the exponent, plus c. Now in order to solve for c, I'm going to have to plug in my values here for x and y. So we could write this as y equals 1 half x squared plus c. Now I'm going to substitute in my values for x and y. So y is 7, 1 half, negative 2 squared, plus c. So 7 equals 1 half times 4, plus c. 7 equals 2, plus c, minus 2 from both sides. And for some of you, I recommend you show every step so you don't make mistakes with your adding. I get c equals 5. But that's not the answer. The answer is y equals x squared, one-half x squared, plus 5. Okay, because I need to go back to this, and I need to substitute back in my c. That is the final answer. So you're not just solving for c, but rather you're writing the original function. So this would be, for example, this would be like our position function, and this is our velocity function. So we know the velocity function. I know a point of the position of the object, so I can take the antiderivative of the velocity function to get the position function, and then I can substitute in for that point for x and y into the position function to solve for z. Okay, let's do one more. So, the y. I have dy dx is equal to 6x squared, and it's passing through the point 0, 5. So again, I'm going to take the antiderivative of 6x squared dx. So that would be add 1 to my exponent, multiply by the reciprocal, but I still have this constant 6, and plus c. So I get y equals uh, 1 third of 6 is 2, x third plus c. Now I'm going to substitute in my values for x and y. So 5 is equal to 2 times 0 cubed plus c. 0 cubed is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. 5 is equal to 0 plus c. 0 plus c is just c. Oh, it's 5 again? That's funny. All right, so my final answer, y is equal to 2x cubed plus the c that I just found. Oops, the bottom of the page. Okay? So that's it. That's the basic idea. Of course, as you move along on this assignment, taking the, doing the integration gets a little bit harder. So good luck with that. See you Friday.